all doing well welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i decided today uh the day that i'm filming this is actually the day after my birthday and i was gonna vlog my birthday but i decided that after all the festivities after all the christmas eating the new years and all of that i just i just wanted a chilled one especially as me and tom hadn't had a day together just the two of us all day since I want to say the first week, second week of December. So it's been a while, so I just wanted to chill with Tom. We did pop into the traffic centre, I picked up a couple of bits, spent some birthday money, I opened my presents, which I will show you as well within this video. And I also, um, <clears throat> we went to watch the new Avatar. We did watch it actually, I will recommend if you have a Screen X. I've never been to one before, but our um local cinema has one and i was like what's the screen x they did the avatar showing in like a 4d 3d we've done the 4d experience with top gun which was fun it's like the whole movement you get sprayed with water in your face it's it's a really immersive experience however i don't know if it kind of distracts you from watching the movie um so we were like do we do it in 3d or do we watch it in this new screen x that we've never been to before and i'm so glad we did it in the screen x so there's no 3d glasses or anything it's just 2d viewing but the screen is in front of you but it's also to the side of you so you really feel like when they're in the water or they're flying in the sky and everything you feel like you're there without the need for like 3d glasses or movement or anything like that and honestly it was really really um good and i'm so glad i went to watch it that the only thing that was putting me off it was the fact that it was at like three and a half hours, three hours 15, and I was like, oh, do I really want to sit in a cinema that long? On my birthday, it was drizzly, I wanted a chilled one, we ended up going, and I'm so glad we did. So, if you're yet to see it, and are maybe put off by the fact that it's three hours, don't be, it, it was really good. Yeah, that was my birthday, we got home, had a Chinese takeaway, finished watching all of the traitors, which I had seen the end of it when I was at home with my mum over Christmas, I watched the end and I was like, oh, I'll watch it again with you Tom, because it honestly was that good. Um, so yeah, that was my birthday, like I said, been shopping, got some birthday bits, so I'm going to share with you all of the bits that I have given, been given and bought later on, but I wanted to first see join you guys down in our basement in our utility room which is looking a bit of a mess but reality and share with you an order that's just right so i'm working with cherries on today's video if you're yet to hear of cherries you've never heard me talk about it before it is an app and website i use the app to shop and it basically has all your kind of household essentials on there um, bigger bulkier items I tend to buy on there like kitchen rolls, toilet rolls, laundry detergents, waters, whatever. But they also have a whole new category that they've added recently to do with fitness. They have some like workout stuff. They have food bits. They have bits for kids, bits for pets. So it's really a one-stop shop that is just so convenient because you can just order it from your phone and it gets delivered straight to your door. So I do have a discount code with them. I actually have two. I have a code FF25. If you are new to Cherries, use that code FF25. It will get you 25% off and free shipping. And if you're already an existing customer, I do have a code for free shipping for you, which is just simply FF. And that is valid until the 25th of January. Happy shopping. Enjoy. I'll leave a link in the description box below as well as those codes and all the information you need. I've got the big box here in front of me. I can't lift it because it's way too heavy because I'll show you why. I picked up quite a few waters, sparkling and still, because whilst doing the renovation, I find especially doing the ground floor there's been times where they maybe have to switch off the water or and then when the system reboots it just turns out water honestly for ease i've just got a load of these evian bottles and san pellegrino which are a fave of mine i do love sparkling water like i said kitchen roll i tend to stock up on i don't think i've had these in wash set boosters before they're the fairy fresh ones i do tend to use fairy with my laundry so yeah got myself a couple of tuna salads these are really handy for just like lunch on the go i got barney some gravy bones now i've never used these before but i thought i've got a few to put in one in each bathroom they are these andrex flushable washlets 
So like I said, they have some workout gear and I decided to pick up a yoga mat. I thought for some little at-home workouts, this would be really good. Then I've got a couple of these leaded storage tubs. These are good for um, either under bed storage or I might use them in our storage room um, down here in the basement. So that's everything in box number one. Let me take you through to the other room where I've put the other two boxes. I do love a cherries order. It's like Christmas, but like a practical kind of Christmas. So I also got some more waters. These are just smaller ones to be able to grab and go, take these with me. I've got a toy for Barney. He's absolutely obsessed with these burrow toys I've recently discovered. So they've got a couple of new ones and I decided, seeing as though he is called Barney, I would get a dinosaur one. Speaking of the dog, these are amazing, these pet hair dissolvers. Even if you don't have a pet, even just to use these within a wash if you've got lots of like lint. And then I also got these from the new fitness range, these resistance bands, they've got them in grey. They pretty much have all of their workout stuff in either grey or pink. And then last one in this box, just some tape. I've only got parcel tape left, so I needed some um, by the time I was doing Christmas wrapping, I ended up using parcel tape, which is like this thick. So yeah, I needed some more regular size tape. And then if I could bring you down here to the third box, we have, um, oh, I'm really excited for this in the beauty section. I've seen that they've got epilators and this is a cordless epilator and shaver duo for fast hair removal. These usually are like hundreds of pounds. This one was 30 something. So yeah, well worth getting. I used to epilate all the time. And recently, I'm, I wanna say for the past six months or so, I just cannot for the life of me find my epilator anywhere. And I know one day I'm gonna end up coming across it, but for now, I just thought rather than get back into shaving um, to just buy another one. And then when I saw Cherries had them at an affordable price, picked it up. It's from the brand No-No. Again, heavy bulky items. I also got some individual size of the San Pellegrinos. I got some beans, means Heinz. We are without a kitchen, so any kind of like microwave food is basically an essential in our life. Although we did use the air fryer for the first time the other night and I think we are gonna be converted. I've got some storage tubs for us to maybe like bulk um, cook in the air fryer and then like have lunch leftovers the day after. I've got a couple of bits from the cleaning section, these new brushes. I'm gonna pop this one in the sink down here for washing up, but then this one I thought would go quite nicely by the back door as just like a bit of a boot brush. I do have one from Zara, Zara Home, but I just love it that much that I feel like I wanted a cheaper one to actually get all the grubbiness with. <laughs> anyway, I also got um, a stock up of our fairy non-bio pods. These XXL packs are really good because they just last so much longer. And last but not least, I've got some big and strong bathroom cleaning wipes. Again, I got two packs, so I'm just gonna pop them in Tom's bathroom and my bathroom just so that they're handy and convenient. Cause I do feel like living over four floors, the the effort to have to go all the way to the basement, especially if you're on the top floor, if you just need to wipe something, it's just far easier to keep wipes within the bathroom. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Cherries. There is one thing that I'm just gonna pop out and do before I share with you all my birthday bits. I think I've mentioned it in another video, but I have in here this um, home bargains bag. I've got a load of like old VHS videos that I, I took back with me from home, from seeing my parents, that I want to get converted um, onto MP4 files so that we can actually see them because we don't have video players and you can get them converted to DVDs, but even DVDs are just like, pretty much non-existent now, aren't they? So I'm gonna go to a place that I've just found online that is in a, it's like a mill, a shopping center mill. I've never been to it before. It's a bit of a drive, but I'm gonna go there, drop them off with him. He said it'll take, depending on the length of those, two to four days. So maybe in my next vlog, I might show you some home videos. I don't know if that'd be interesting or funny to watch or not at all, because it's not you guys, it's me as a child. But, um, I'm really excited to watch them back. We used to watch them all the time when I was a child, like at Christmas. I used to always get out the videos and watch them, but I just feel like I haven't seen them in years. So yeah, it'd be fun to watch those back. So I'm gonna go drop those off. I'll take my phone 
see what this shopping mill is like and if it's vlog worthy, I'll maybe get a couple of clips. And back in the car so he said it's going to take about a week for them to be done i honestly can't wait it's in a place called broadstone mill shopping outlet i don't know if i'd rush back i'll be honest it was it's the typical kind of like outlet store there's like a windsor shoes in there there's the works which i had a quick look around then they've got all of their like own branded stuff they've got a brand interiors there which sometimes can be quite good it just depends on whether or not um you get a good find but there wasn't anything in there um and then yeah there was like regatta outdoors just a couple of like random brands that i'd heard of and then loads of brands that i hadn't and not that bargain bargain there was some regatta fleeces that i was tempted for that were only 12 quid and i thought oh i could just have that as a layer but then i thought i don't need it anyway so yeah i'm all done there it is seven pound per vhs to mp4 i'm glad i've done it now because he did say obviously vhs can deteriorate although these ones looked in good condition but just to um get them done as soon as possible if you don't want to lose all those memories Home sweet home and that was my phone. That was my phone. <laughs> I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Um I just thought before I head upstairs I'll show you this because oh my god it's amazing. It's amazing. So Tom got given a hamper for Christmas from one of his clients and because we were both away we didn't actually receive it until now and um how gorgeous is that it's from harrods and i said to tom absolutely let me keep that basket and that could be a good little christmas decoration for next year storage for decorations but we've just um yeah we haven't even like had a look through it yet i feel like i should be doing this with tom here but he's not here so oh well stem ginger and lemon biscuits yum fudge selection oh my god those Christmas treats are definitely not over in this household. If anyone else is struggling to like get that motivation back into the new year, like new year, new me, health kick and all of that, I take my time. I think because it's my birthday, I'm always a bit like more guilt-free doing that. So if you're feeling unmotivated, if you're still eating through your Christmas chocolates, just know that so am I. Harrods Georgian Blend tea bags. Also all butter shortbread biscuits. Oh my gosh. Knightsbridge roast coffee. Chocolate almonds. British Cotswold honey. Malbec wine. Earl Grey tea bags. Parmesan and poppy seed oat biscuits. Oh my god, this all sounds amazing. Sea salted caramel hot chocolate. Peppermint fondant. So like a posh after eight. Shabley white wine. Mixed nuts. Oh, triple chocolate biscuits. They sound good. Pitted green olives. Oh, yes. I love this. I had this for the first time in ages at home when I went to my parents. Mum got given a hamper and it had some lemon curd in it. And I was very jealous. And now I've got my own. There's also strawberry jam, Seville marmalade, Devonshire ale and apple chutney. Another bottle of wine, Sauvignon Blanc. Some, oh these are good, we've had these before with a cheese board. Toast for cheese, dates, hazelnut and pumpkin seeds. That's one thing that I didn't really have over Christmas, a cheese board. And I feel like that's such a wintery thing to do. So maybe we'll have a cheese board with all of these. A Prosecco, a Chianti, I think that's it, oh no, oh no. 
Save the best for last. Champagne. It's um linen lined as well. This is such a lovely hamper. So here I've got everything out. Right, I need to put all of these away. And then, in fact, hmm, I'll do it later. Let me take you upstairs and show you what I got for my birthday first. Staying hydrated. I think because we had Chinese takeaway last night after a Chinese. I was so thirsty in the night and I was just like desperate. You know when you're so comfy in bed, it's like if you need the toilet in the night. You're so comfy and you don't want to get up, but you're desperate too. That was like me last night with thirst. Anyway, let's head on upstairs, shall we? Build just a crack. Firstly, I got these gorgeous flowers from Tom. He absolutely spoilt me. The roses are blooming. I feel like I could do with trimming a couple of those. But um, I also got some flowers from, oh, got hair in my mouth, from a friend um, from Bloom and Wild. So I've just put those in a vase and there I've left them down in the basement. Right, let me get the tripod out actually because all of my birthday bits and shopping bits from yesterday are laid out here. Oh, it's very loud in here. Oh, look at that double chin. Wow. I've just shown you those flowers that Tom got me, but he got me, if you saw my what I got for Christmas video, a trip to Finland in February, which I'm so excited for. So that was kind of like a joint Christmas birthday gift. But yeah, he did spoil me with those flowers. And also, um, oh my God, he... He offered to take Barney for a walk in the morning and I was expecting to go for a walk. So we're gonna go this weekend for a nice long walk somewhere new um, instead. But he was like, you lay in, I'll walk the dog. I'll um, go get us breakfast from our favorite bakery, bring it home. And I was like, oh, okay then. So I said, well, if you want, I don't mind picking you up from the bakery. If you like walk all the way there, it's like an hour's walk. And um, then I can pick you up. I'll just take my time getting ready. And he said, yeah, okay, perfect got there and Barney, I wish I'd have videoed it. I did take a video when I got back home, but Barney was just sat in front of the bakery with a balloon around his collar that said best mum and he had a card in his mouth. It was so cute. So anyway, he spoiled me with all of those. And then uh, my parents, first thing they got me is this, which I wanted, I did ask for this as a gift idea. Um, for like Christmas or birthday. And so they very kindly got it for me for my birthday. It's from the brand Satori, which I came across on Instagram initially, but then I realized they're actually not too far from where um, we live. So yeah, this is a gorgeous planner for 2023. But there's also a couple of other little bits in here that my uh, mum and dad very kindly included as well. Firstly, this set of, if I come a bit closer to show you, this set of pencils. They're all like a neutral light gray beige, grayish kind of colors. But then also this page marker to pop wherever um, I am within my diary. And it just says a little reminder that you are brave, courageous, and inspiring. And then the actual planner itself that comes in this gorgeous linen bag is the most aesthetically pleasing calendar diary that I have ever owned. So it comes in a couple of different colors. I've got the stone, I think it's called, and it's called the Plan Beautiful Calendar Volume 2023. And it is just so gorgeous. A bit of an introduction to kind of how to use it, important dates. And then the, it actually started from the December, which obviously I've not filled in because I've only just opened it for my birthday, but that's the kind of font and page that you kind of get with this planner so it is a day of page which i think is the the best kind of diary to have you just can pop this as a little page marker like that a little affirmation but also wherever you are within your diary you can just easily open it up to that page so i thought that was lovely thank you so much to my parents for getting me that then a couple of other bits they got me because i did ask for stationery this to-do list i know where this is from because i had one of these and i used it every single day sorry for the builder's noise i really just can't do anything about it at this stage so yeah i do know that this is from home bargains and then we had quite a lot of harry potter themed gifts because again from from my parents a kind of joint christmas birthday type gift is that they are taking um, us to Harry Potter World. I say us, me and Tom and my brother and his fiance. So yeah, we're gonna have a little family trip in a couple of weeks to Harry Potter World down in Watford. So yeah, 
Harry Potter pen. And then lastly, they got me some bits from Adenola. I've been after trying their basic tees and I've got a gray and black one. And then also a pair of their ribbed socks in gray. This is like the gray mile. Heard great things about Adenola. It's the first time I've tried it. It's just nice and simple kind of fitted tee. I've got it in a medium, I think. Yeah, a medium. And I find that if you've got like a fitted base layer, it keeps you warmer. So good for our trip to Finland. And then from my brother and his fiance, they got me a couple of like housey bits. They know I love Le Creuset. And um, they got me the matte black Le Creuset spoon rest, which I don't have one of these. And also the egg cups. Again, I don't have these. So this is gonna be perfect to pop aside, ready for when our kitchen is finished. And then from Tom's mum, she knows that I absolutely love the Lululemon Align leggings. And so she stopped me up on a brand new pair, which honestly, this is just the perfect gift for me. I could receive this every single year for Christmas or birthday and be over the moon because it's just like restocking, fresh new pair of leggings, my favorite ones. Okay, then Hotel Chocolat emailed me a five pound voucher. So I thought, oh, I'll pop in, maybe get a couple of like just five pound chocolates or something. And then I saw these on the entrance. Now this was in the sale and it was such a good price, I couldn't resist it. I also know that my brother got one of these. I think it's my brother got one of these for Christmas. So I asked my mum about it and I was like, have you seen the price of these? She said, yeah, I've had to get myself one as well. So they're from, they're called the Podster Coffee Sister. Now they don't do pods themselves. They said they used to, but they don't anymore. But they're compatible with Nespresso or Nespresso compatible pods, the original ones. So um, yeah, it will work with all of the pods that I already own. I had a KitchenAid Nespresso machine, which is quite big and bulky. It takes up a lot of space, whereas this is a bit more slim, slim line? Slim line. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and it goes with our milk frother, which is the Hotel Shop Our Velvetizer you can use as milk frother. So yeah, I just thought this would be lovely again to keep to one side for when we've got our kitchen finished, we've got a brand new coffee machine. Oh, I've just seen that they do mugs. Because I love the hot chocolate mugs that they do with the Velvetizer. This is the color velvetizer we have, the white one. So that's what our set is gonna look like together with this coffee machine. They only have this one color. Um, and yeah, look at those mugs. Ooh, might have to have another look on their website. So anyway, yeah, they were reduced down from 150 pounds down to 49.95 and then I had the five pound voucher. Now, something I did order over Christmas to arrive for when I returned home was from Dalesford Farm. This was just a treat from me to me. I thought, you know what, I've always wanted to try Dalesford Farm bits. Maybe one day, definitely one day, I will pay a visit down there. We can do a little road trip, maybe me, Tom and Barney at some point, maybe over summer, and go and visit the Cotswolds and go to Dalesford Farm. First thing I got was this tote bag. Oh, it's huge. Look at that. It's quite thin. Good for like just carrying your vegetables and stuff. I didn't know at this point that Tom was gonna get that hamper from his work colleagues. So there's a couple of like duplicate items from that Harrods hamper, but this is just their organic strawberry jam. I'm a crumpet lover in the mornings and I love to have it with some jam. I also got some of their peppermint infused tea bags. Oh, this from their home range I thought looked lovely. So it's a rosemary scented multi-surface cleaner. I think again for kitchen spaces and bathroom spaces I guess, rosemary is such a lovely scent. Oh yes. Wow, that is so nice. And then again from their grocery section I got a barbecue sauce. Just how aesthetic is the branding and everything though. I mean we've got going in our pantry, one of those larder cabinets where you've got the internal wooden racks, which if you go into Neptune and open a cupboard, it just is all organized. It's all aesthetically pleasing bottles and things. And I just feel like we'll stock up and stuff like this to make it look nice, at least initially. I got these, these are in Selfridges and everyone raves about these, these crisps. I got the black truffle as well. And then I also got some organic raw apple pieces. This was in their Christmas sale, one of these little Christmas decorations, handmade. And I loved the addition of kind of like felt things or like cute kind of nostalgic, random ornaments for a tree. 
And this is just a sheep in a woolly jumper with a crossbody linen bag. Oh, I also got this and now having received it, I'm very tempted to get a second one so that I've got a matching set. But it's a dog bowl for Barney and it's just white ceramic but it's got a paw print on the bottom, so very subtle. And then the edging is like a natural kind of stone color, the same as the base. I was also a bit worried that this is gonna to be too small because really nice dog bowls end up being too small for a large breed, but this one is perfect. Ooh, this again is something that I thought would look lovely in a pantry or on display. And also one that you could obviously reuse, refill and keep once you have emptied it and finished it, but it is just a organic extra virgin olive oil. Again, got the branding of Dalesford Organic Farm Gloucestershire on there. I am making an absolute mess here. One more item. Okay, this is actually the main reason of putting in the order in the first place. I wanted to try this candle that I know is so, so popular and it's in the scent Vine Tomato. Now you might have seen from my What I Got For Christmas video or recent vlog that I found one in TK Maxx from Urban Apothecary in Vine Tomato. It has to be my favorite scented candle I have ever owned. And this smells very, very similar to it. Um, so yeah, I wanted to have this out on display again. Just love it. I actually love it that much that I went back and picked up two more of the Urban Apothecary ones from TK Maxx. Because I just don't want to ever run out of it. So yeah, like I said, I did pop into Home Sense pick up uh, to pick up two more of these candles. They're $19.99, but RRP is £40. And then I also got these for down in our utility room, just a three pack of natural fiber sponges at uh, $3.99. And then I saw this in the stationery section. Again, I love a stationery purchase. And it's from this brand that I've spotted in there before and loved called Monograph. And they had this set of note cards. It's an eight piece with an envelope so that if ever you just want to write a note to someone that you've got them uh, spare to hand. I'll just show you the designs so that if you do see this in store and want to pick it up yourself then you know what they look like. That one's probably my favourite. It's kind of like a film photo of just some wintry autumn trees. Got some eucalyptus, a like kind of rustic shot window, skyline at the beach is it? Or just a skyline. Flowers, um, kind of like, I don't know what that is, like a plastered wall or something. Some summery blueberries and a beach scene. They were only £2.49. Two things that I picked up from ASOS recently and firstly this set of mittens from the Collusion range. Again, this is gonna be for my little Finland trip. I just think these are so adorable. They come with a string as well so you can like wear them around your neck. I love them. And then I also got just a base layer from Weekend. We Weekend weekday that's like a mistake a parent would make or something weekday i've got a couple of their basic tees and i really like them so i thought i'd pick up a long sleeve one with a high neck and then last but not least i came home with some pr bits from ciate i've got some um, makeup bits maybe have to play around with these like in a vlog if i do some makeup Bronze Glow Shimmering Lip Oil. I also got from Glossier. I'm still relatively new to Glossier, but this is one of their like hero products, their milk jelly cleansers. And then they've also given me the Boy Brow, again, another hero product of theirs. I know it's very, very popular. I also got sent a skin mask from 111 Skin. I also got sent this from Refi in a medium. This is their brow pencil. I've used that before and loved it. So I'm so happy to have that. And then lastly, from Summer Fridays, which I've never tried before. I've heard so many great things about these products and yeah, so excited to try them. So this one is a lip butter balm in vanilla. This one's an SPF 30 mineral milk sunscreen, just good every day. How aesthetic is this brand? I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to give this a try. It's very, very, it's basically clear to be honest with you. Oh yeah, nice, not sticky at all. I can't stand a sticky lip balm. Lovely. And then, yeah, this is one of my resolutions that I mentioned in my new year video that I uploaded on the 1st of January about wearing SPF every single day. The last couple of items I got are from a jewelry brand. I've tried this brand before. They've done a collab with an influencer called Tashi who I've actually met briefly, but met years ago. And um, yeah, so I've decided to go a little bit different. They asked me to pick a couple of pieces from the selection. And uh, yeah, I've gone for a bit of mixed metals here. So 
Firstly, this kind of bracelet has obviously a lot of glitz to it, so it kind of looks like mixed metal with the gold and silver. But then I've also got, you know how I love to wear these little huggy earrings? I've got some chunkier ones, chunky hoops that they did do in gold, but I purposefully chose to go for silver, just for something a bit different, but a mixed metal. So yeah, let me know if you wear silver and gold together or if you're just a stick to one metal kind of person. I guess my watch is mixed metal, that's silver and gold. But yeah, that's everything. I did get a Amazon voucher. <coughs> Excuse me. I did get a Amazon voucher as well, which I have spent and I've got a few things that have arrived, a couple more to arrive. So maybe in an upcoming video, I will show you those bits that I did get from Amazon as well. But yeah, that is everything that I got for my birthday. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will leave links to everything that I can down below in the description box, along with my discount codes for cherries. Don't forget to take advantage of those FF25 if you're a new customer and FF if you are already an existing customer thanks to them for working with me on today's video i hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys